I have dealt with this before, but I think it needs more focused treatment. This is from the Darnell film, and it shows a motorcycle officer having parked his motorcycle in front of the Texas School Book Depository and running towards the building. It is commonly thought, almost universally thought, by those who think about such things, that this is Marion Baker running into the Texas School Book Depository, as he said he did. This is important to some people because of the timing when he and Baker, when he and Truly ran up the stairway, and it's also important to the prayer man cult because they they have to base their uh, their theory on on very strict timing things to uh, to prove themselves to be right. And anyway, it's misunderstood by just about everybody because everybody seems to think this is Marion Baker when it isn't Marion Baker. And Baker told the Warren Commission that he parked 10 feet east of that light pole. And here he marked a photograph with his B to show where he parked his motorcycle. And that looks like it's about 10 feet east of that light pole. And in this frame from the Darnell film, I've marked out that light pole, and I put a B to correspond to where Baker put his B in the Warren Commission photograph. And so that B is approximately 10 feet east of that light pole. But that's not where the running motorcycle officer's motorcycle is. His motorcycle is where I've got the green circle. It's over... It's, I, don't, I can't say exactly how far away it is, but it looks like it's probably about 30 feet south of that light pole, not 10 feet east of the light pole. So that is not Baker's motorcycle. And here I have circled in blue the running motorcycle officer at this moment in this film. And he is running from the green circle. He is not running from where the B is. And so what this means is this motorcycle officer is not Baker, and he's there before Baker. Baker has yet to park his motorcycle. He will park it where he said he parked it, where that B is 10 feet east of the light pole. And if you analyze the Darnell film, you can see that there is evidence that another motorcycle is approaching from the right. Uh, Darnell pans over that way at a, a more quickly than he was panning, as if he hears the motorcycle, and he's panning his camera over to it. You see in the first frame here that I'm representing from the film, uh, the guy I call Cowboy Man is turned to look at that motorcycle, and Cowboy Man was walking here, and he stops, as you can see in the third frame that I have here, the, the one on the far right. So Cowboy Man turns to look at the approaching motorcycle and then he stops because he's going to let the approaching motorcycle pass in front of him. And in the second frame I've got the, the enlargement on top there of the girl who also turns because she hears the motorcycle. She turns to look at the motorcycle. But we can't see the motorcycle in the Darnell film because this man in the foreground is uh, blocking our view of the front wheel of the motorcycle. This man in the foreground who is in a different focus than the rest of the film, in a different, uh, different contrast, uh, he looks more contrasty than the rest of the film. I think this man was added to the film by somebody to hide the fact, and it is a fact, that there were two motorcycle officers parked or, or uh, in front of the building, one of them already parked and running to the building, and the other one approaching the building, about to park. The official story acknowledges that Baker went into the building, but it, the official story doesn't have another motorcycle officer here, so somebody in the cover-up decided to hide the fact that there were two of them there. But the second one, the one approaching, is Baker, because he's approaching. You can see, even though you can't see the motorcycle, you can see because of 
that cowboy man stops and everyone's looking over to the right not everyone but some people are looking over to the right you can see that he's approaching and he's approaching the area where he said he parked 10 feet east of the light pole so it is a fact and the evidence proves it that there are two motorcycle officers who stopped in front of the Texas School Book Depository and the second one was Marion Baker and the first one was somebody else and that somebody else is the one we see running in the Darnell film. And old man Robert Jackson uh, seems to be saying here in his garbled story that he saw two motorcycle policemen go into the building. Now, I don't think his details are all correct, but that seems to be what he's saying here. So then as I surveyed the scene just for a moment there, I could see the confusion, the bedlam, people covering up their kids, uh, motorcycle cop rode his motorcycle up the grassy knoll and just let it keep running. He jumped off, the motorcycle went on until it fell over. And then he went into the, into the book depository with another policeman. So even though the story as he tells it cannot be true, uh, he does have the detail of two of them going into the building. And I don't think that's even true, but I think there's a, uh, a grain of truth here, and that is that there were two motorcycle police officers in front of the Texas School Book Depository at the time that Robert Jackson was there. And Marion Baker himself tells the Warren Commission, Senator Cooper, uh, that there was another motorcycle officer there. At least that's the sense of it that I take from this. Were there any officers that you saw near the school book depository when you went in? There was an officer working traffic on that corner, and Officer J.W. Williams was, and Alan Dulles, who doesn't want to talk about J.W. Williams, changes the subject. By that corner, you mean the corner of Elm and Houston? But Baker continues, that is right, sir. J.W. Williams, who was a motorcycle officer, was, I thought, over on the left-hand side of me, and he was right with me. But as I ran in this building, I found out that I was by myself. I didn't know where anybody went. Now, this is not uh, explored by the questioners here, but what I think this means is that J.W. Williams was the officer riding on the left-hand side of the street with Baker, that's not part of the official story, but I think it also means that he thought J.W. Williams had stopped in front of the Texas School Book Depository, and that that's the officer we see in the Darnell film. Baker thinks it's J.W. Williams, but whoever it really is, Baker saw this guy running to the building, and that's why he found he was by himself when he got to the building, and he didn't know where anybody went. He was expecting that other officer to be there too when he got there. But he didn't know where that other officer went. Now unfortunately, you know, it's not made explicit here. You have to interpret. But I think, upon reflection, that's clearly what this means. That J.W. Williams was riding beside Baker in the motorcade and he thought that this running officer we see in the Darnell film was J.W. Williams because that's the guy who was riding beside him in the motorcade. But the point is he saw the guy running to the building and he assumed that this person ran into the building but when Baker himself got into the building he didn't see any other police officers. And another thing here we can see uh, in the photography here Marion Baker does not wear gloves when he rides his motorcycle. Some of the officers wear gloves and some of them don't. Apparently most of them don't, but Baker doesn't. And it looks to me as if the running motorcycle officer is wearing gloves. Of course, you can't be certain from the photography because it's not the greatest photography in the world, the versions we have available. But it looks to me like this guy is wearing gloves and Baker isn't. Of course, there is much more to say about the running motorcycle officer, who it is, and all that. But the point of this video is simply to say that it is not Marion Baker. 
and the evidence proves conclusively that it is not Marion Baker, that Marion Baker was still on his motorcycle at the time this motorcycle officer was running, that he was still approaching the light post that he was going to park 10 feet east of. So the running motorcycle officer in the Darnell film is not Marion Baker, and anybody who builds a theory upon it being Marion Baker is uh, building castles on the sand. Is that what they say? I don't know what they say. But you know what I mean. They're full of shit.